Several NBA players have expressed their concerns about heading down and entering the Orlando bubble. Kyrie Irving leading the charge. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Mike Petralia and Joe Sway Pavone. Kyrie Irving has been very vocal about how he's not on board with all the restrictions of the Orlando bubble, especially during the time in the state that our nation is in, in terms of fighting all of these social injustice and racial injustice issues right now. He thinks that, you know, bringing the NBA that is predominantly black down in, into one area will take away from the movement. He's also now talked about NBA players creating their own league in place of the restart. Guys, why is Kyrie the leader of this? Is it really for the social justice aspect of it all? Well, I think uh, this is a dangerous game, guys, trying to get inside Kyrie Irving's mind when it comes to uh, social justice uh, and the pandemic and what should be priority number one. But I'll take a stab at it here. Let's and do it. I, and I think what Kyrie Irving is trying to say is well-intentioned that, you know, our focus, especially the African-American community, uh, should be on the welfare of our own. And I get that. And I understand that. The problem is when he says we should go start our own league, why? Why, why would you want to do that? I mean, I, I have not heard a, a, a legitimate or, or a sufficient explanation from him as to why that would be better than working with an already established, significant vocal community in the NBA where you are already empowered to speak. I, I don't understand that. Yeah, it makes very little sense, doesn't it, Try. I mean, I got it in the sense of safety precaution. Like, that's the way I looked at it. And that's the way I translated his quote when he said something looks fishy. Uh, Jeff, you know, obviously COVID-19, another huge concern. The biggest concern, the reason why uh, initially a lot of players or some players were hesitant about this idea. Uh, Jeff Goodman shared with me that the majority of that phone call, there was close to no talk about COVID-19. Uh, so it's close to him telling him that Kyrie was talking about the movement, Black Lives Matter, and maybe a little bit of that safety precaution stuff that, that, that I was alluding to last week. But now it seems to, it's about the movement. Well, then that's where I'm confused, Kyrie, because the right. NBA, last time I checked, it cracked. Do you know a more progressive league in the United there States isn't. of America than the NBA? Use your platform. Use it. We're going to see people who don't even normally watch the NBA tune in because they want to see how this whole thing plays out. Live basketball is back. You're going to use that platform. You're going to be around players. You can start a forum. You can do things in between games. You can do things in between practices. Maybe get players together, start a healthy conversation, and put that out on social media. There's so many ways you can go about uh, be ahead of the movement and, and still play basketball and compete. Or if you're not going to compete in Kyrie's uh, case, support your teammates you know i'm just again Kyrie irving it's so hard to try to dissect his quotes i mean we spent the last two years doing it right tracks you know so many quotes from Kyrie that we try to understand where he's coming from I, I, there's just no crystal clear answer Kyrie can help us out with that if he comes forward and says things but he's not going to do that right so i just that's just where we are right now yeah the players might not be able to go out there and protest while they're down in orlando but like you said they can wear shirts when they warm up. They have full autonomy over the shoes that they wear, the posts that they still can, you know, put out there on social on their social media accounts. If anything, they'll get around more people that, like you said, Josue, they can have conversations about it and continue on with this Black Lives Matter movement down in Orlando. But to play devil's advocate, there is it's not just Kyrie Irving who's concerned about going down to Orlando. Are this are these phone calls filled with players who don't really like the idea at all? Do they have a point? Well, I, I think certainly they have a point, and they're discussing it amongst each other. I would warn NBA players not to go down the path that Major League Baseball players are going down. And obviously, you're talking about two different, totally different uh, scenarios, wh whereas MLB was concerned about how the players would get paid, uh, how that salary structure would carry out over 2020, 21, and 2022. This is about um, the social uh, awareness that these players can bring to the fore, and that's very legitimate. However, 
you you I think run the risk of overplaying your hand and having the message lost because you're not one unified voice. And that's what and in the one criticism I would give of NBA players is to me sometimes the player players union in the NBA is very 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 top heavy. And you have 10 to 15 voices speaking for 600 players. And I think sometimes that comes across as the superstars are in charge and the little guy doesn't count as much. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, Avery Bradley's been one of those guys who's speaking out. And obviously, he plays with LeBron James and the Lakers, and they have a really good chance of winning a title. So I think that's significant, someone like that, to speak out, uh, someone who's been a star for the, the Lakers all year long. And um, he, he's obviously not the quote-unquote superstar of Kyrie Irving's level, but obviously there's concerns. And, and I, I think they're legit. I think they – are uh, ways to go about it. These guidelines, I think, are ridiculous. I think it has to be somewhere in the middle that these two sides can meet. But I, I just don't see uh, Black Lives Matter movement and, and, and all that. I, I don't think that's enough of a reason to, to, for, for players to, to be afraid to, to uh, step away from that movement to play basketball. I think you can do both. I think you can do it on an exponentially, you know, on another level. Like, you can even make it even bigger than it is, you know. I just think this is a great opportunity for uh, the NBA to do that. And I would hate for them to miss out on that. For all of our coverage leading up to the restart, head to our website at clnsmedia.com and check out our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe at Celtics All Access.